Now we're going to talk about some intermediate and advanced exercises that use a chin-up bar. If you have access to a chin-up bar, it gives you a lot more flexibility. I recommend it, but again, the, one of the biggest things about EAT is you don't have to spend any money to take advantage of the workouts and create metabolic windows. So, assuming you do have a chin-up bar or want one and get one installed, let's start out with leg lifts. Leg lifts, you're going to take a wide grip on the bar, hang, and then pull, pull your feet back and you're going to start from your knees and try to see your toes in front of your eyes. Slowly bring it down. Work the negative too. Bring it down. You feel that in your lower stomach all the way through the middle of your stomach as you come back down. If you can't bring your knees up at least to your chest, I would start with other exercises and work your way up to them. Okay, another similar exercise but more designed to work the obliques or windshield wipers. Windshield wipers. Again, my bar isn't high enough up that I can hang fully extended, so I have to make some modifications. Um, you hang, turn your body, and you're going to bring your thigh up first. So that's coming up first, and then twist over to the other side. So then do the windshield wiper motion. I'll show you. Up, over, down, up over, down, up, over, down, okay? The only thing I do on that one, which helps me, it's up to you, it's an option, is I tap my toes each time I finish a rep and remind myself, I don't push off the ground, but it's just kind of like, wait, start the next rep. So you keep flowing, keep pressure on your obliques the whole time. I'll show you one more time really quick. Tap, 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 okay? I count each side, I count one if I go after I do one to each side. Very challenging exercise. Give it a try, see what you think. Okay, another great chin up bar exercise is the chin up. Two different versions I use. One is as wide a grip as I can get. Chin up, overhand grip, chin up. Not much explanation there except to say. Just, you know, use your, as much of your shoulders and back and upper body as you can. Try not to throw your knees. And that would be a wide grip overhand chin up. Another great exercise with a chin up bar is a pull up. This is an underhand grip. Close the grip in a little bit more of the bicep type of work. Again, works a lot of body parts, but focuses on the arms. So you hang. I try, I try to go full range on every one. I, I try it. Now, one improvement might be not to let your body hang there between each rep. But you want to come all the way back down and work that whole range of motion on both pull-ups and chin-ups. Okay, another advanced exercise for the upper body is uh, handstand push-ups. Works a lot of different body parts and really puts good resistance in your upper body. So I'll show you how to do those. To begin with, just go ahead and put your hands on the ground. I don't know, about a foot, foot and a half away from the uh, wall. To give yourself enough room to arch your back just a little bit. You're then going to push up and uh, with your arms extended. Way harder if you, you know, start a headstand and push up. You want to try that, that's fine. I don't do that. But you just want to push, pull your, push your body up, get your balance, and then just into a push up. I'll show you. Can't talk much during those. But what I do concentrate on is my core. I visualize it helping pull me up, get good midsection work in addition to all the great upper body work of a handstand push up. Another tool that you can take advantage of as part of your workout regimen is to have access to weights. If you want dumbbells, having a couple there, a light set and a heavier set would be really useful. I only have one that's 25 pounds which for some exercises is light for me and some it's heavy. But it's something that uh, you can consider investing in as you 
get to the intermediate and advanced levels in your strength circuits. A couple exercises you can use these for. First of all, lower body. Um, bring this chair over. And it's called step ups. So you put your foot up here and you literally step up, drive the knee up. Okay, concentrate on the top of your thigh, the quad, pushing you up. Try not to use the back leg at all. So you're getting the hamstring involved as well. Okay, you can then turn around, go the exact opposite direction to get both legs worked. That's so. Be basically um, curls. Turn the weight out. Curl it up. Bring your elbows up to get full range of motion. If you watch on the side, you'll see good bicep work. If you stay focused and don't lean too much, okay. That's curls. Another really good upper body exercise you can use dumbbells for are shoulder flies. Lean over a little bit, keep your back straight and flat, weights together, bring the weights up. Okay, you just simply bring them out, keep your hand, I'm sorry, I should have said keep your palms down, try to spread your wings. And then if you can, fight it a little bit coming back down to get the negative work as well. Do that as part of your strength circuit workout. So hopefully that shows you a number of exercises that you can take advantage of um, for all the different body parts. And if you have other ones that you like or want to try, definitely go for it. See if it works your body better. And if it does, please let me know. We'll add it to our list. Um, I didn't cover some of the weightlifting ones you can take advantage of. If you have the dumbbells, things like shrugs. Lunges are good with weights. So there's just endless options. The main thing is to make sure you're working the muscle to fatigue, so you're breaking it down, creating the metabolic window, and giving yourself a reason to eat the protein and carbs that will let you rebuild muscle and help your metabolism go that much better and get you to your weight loss goals.